Welcome back, everybody, to the Cabana. This is Higher Density Living with Alex McKay again. Jason Rigby. Jason. Yes. Um, you have drastically changed your diet. Yes. Can you give us a little bit of an update on how it's been over the past couple weeks? Yeah, it's I'm vegan wasted. Yeah. You came up with, <laughs> yeah, <vegan laughs> came up with that I'm term. I'm vegan okay. wasted. <laughs> um, no. Um, uh, update. I eliminated all meat. Good for so you. So how long has that been? Two, three weeks? Three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. Yeah. yeah. Eliminated all meat, um, pretty much eliminated all, not that bread's bad or anything, pretty much no. eliminated all bread, some all the heavy sugars, um, anything that was like any sodas, anything that was bad, you know, candy, all that stuff. I eliminated all that stuff. Bye. Um, and then I've just been trying to be more plant-based. Yeah. And then I've been eating like uh, brown rice, beans, stuff like that. Okay. Um, and one... Uh, it's a lot cheaper than people think. Oh, Eating that's, healthy ooh, that's way a nice cheaper benefit. Because I used to go, because I'm single, it's yeah. just me, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can always take Contact something. Contact <laughs> info is on the website and the Instagram. Yeah. You know, you can always uh, make something great if you just add ladies at the end. Any <laughs> <Yeah>. sense? <laughs> Vegan wasted ladies. Ladies. <laughs> it's a, yeah, I love to do that. Just add that in there anytime. I love that. That's actually a nice spin to it. Yeah, hey, let's go to, uh, let's go to class, ladies. ladies. <laughs> yeah. um, super white douchey. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I need an affliction shirt on right now. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I eliminated all that. Energy, energy levels are amazing. Yeah. Um, more sustained energy okay. uh, over longer periods of time. I what is this is the interesting part. I, I'm not having. I was feeling shitty there for a while. Yeah, because not all it's that. not all just yeah. roses, right? But I don't have any cravings for any of it. Hmm. Now I will get cravings for some sweet at night. Right. You know, like something sweet, and then I do your little trick with the uh, that. Top shelf, you call it oat milk uh, oat with milk. the blueberries that's or raspberries oat milk and or whatever. Blueberry, that's yeah. where it's at. And you make like a put it in a cereal bowl. Yeah. But if you get that dark blue, I forgot the name of the oat milk, but Oatly. Is it Oatly? Yeah, yeah. yeah that stuff's badass, guys. Yeah, that's top um, shelf. And then you just instead of putting cereal on there, just put blueberries. And it's just, it's lights out. And then you just yeah, and then you're fine. That that, that solves that sweet. Um, Can you talk to them about kind of like the J curve of this though? Oh, it yeah, wasn't. It was, it it was, was not, not all roses. Uh, yeah, no. Um, I was dying there for a while. It wasn't the cravings that were killing me. My body just, I, I mean, you saw me. Every time we were together, we couldn't even hardly do videos because I'd be yawning all the time. He was a mess. And, and then, then emotionally, I was like a wreck. And you're like questioning, like, why am I even doing yeah, this? Yeah, why am I doing I'm feeling this? Worse. I was so tired. I, I ended up not working out for two weeks, which yeah. I was working out every night. Yeah. But I was working it out at nighttime fatigued. So that's a big difference. I think there's a lot of people that are fatigued and they're still working out. Still working out. You know out. what I mean? The because of their diet. There, right. Because they feel like they can go bad on their diet because... Because of how much they work, work out. out. When yeah. they realize, they don't realize that they're shooting themselves in the foot. You know what I mean? Literally. It's bullshit, just even yeah. further of a disservice. Yeah. I'm going to beat my body up so that right. I can recover, but I'm not giving it what it needs to recover any further. Yeah, it's like a Monty Python. Yeah, <laughs> it's merely a flesh wound. <laughs> it's merely a flesh wound. Yeah, he's fine. Jason's he's going <laughs> around with just like trying to swing and bleed on Yeah, me. with one arm. Yeah, yeah and <laughs> spraying blood, yeah. Um, but, uh, th so that went really well. Um, but it, it, yeah, it was not good. You're gonna have, I don't know, probably a week and a half. Yeah. What it was horrific for me. Because your body for so long had been at a dis disequilibrium, right? right? Your body as a natural machine wants right. to be in balance. So everything we intake throws it out of balance, right. right? But what you were intaking in your body was just throwing it completely out of whack. And now, your body was trying to detoxify and find that balance with that new diet that you were on. Well, I mean, it was funny how I detoxified from being polite. Basically, I was eating meats and vegetables. Yeah. And, and very and doing low carb. So it's amazing when I eliminated meat and, you know, a little bit of the, I would have a soda every now and then or an energy drink or whatever, drinking a lot of coffee in the morning. I don't, I don't really crave that. I had coffee this morning. Yeah. But I don't really crave that. Um, just until we get our higher density coffee and oh, higher yeah. density tea. Which would be the most unreal decaf stuff you've yeah, ever yeah. had in your life. Yeah. But, <laughs> it, but I don't really have those cravings for those anymore where I needed them in the morning. You know, I felt like I needed them to get my energy level up. Yeah. Where, um, and again, sleep was horrific. Oh, I believe that. Yeah. Yeah, that was horrific uh, during that week and a half. But now I'm sleeping. Um, like the other night, I slept four hours and I got up and I was fine. And then, you know, I, I usually average about seven hours. Yeah. You know, and I'm fine. I'm like great when I wake up in the morning. So. Are you feeling good now? Yeah, I'm feeling great. Your yeah. body's found that equilibrium and now you're learning to live without that toxicity you're putting in you. 
But I feel like my problem now is finding, like I had a salad the other day, shout out to Acre here in um, Albuquerque. Oh yeah. And they had so many cool things in the salad that I don't know what they are. I mean, I kind of have maybe an idea, and then I'm like, I want to buy these things. Well, it's an education process Because I have now. to, yeah. You, your whole life you've been educated to do things one, just one way. Right. And now that you're shown this whole other world of options, this other beauty that you've never seen, right. now you're like, well, how do I teach myself? How do I learn more about this world, right? Because I want to adopt these practices, all this, this variation. Hmm. There's only four or five different types of meat category, right? Right. But when you talk to plants, there's tens of thousands of varieties. Yeah, there's like so many chickpeas your, and- Your and combinations are endless. Beans, yeah. Right. And so, and if anything, it becomes more artistic, playful. It's, it's actually a better representation of who you are. Do I buy a steamer? Do I buy a rice cooker? You know, there's yeah. like so many different things I'm like trying to figure out, you know, as far as that end goes. But you're so, figuring out what works and what doesn't work. Right, yeah. And, and I think there's certain things that go good with my body and certain things that don't. You know, like white rice doesn't work good for me. Mm -mm. Brown, brown rice, rice is, works great for it's me. Great. It's great. Yeah. It's like, I get energy from brown rice. Brown rice is great. So, nice complex carb right. too. Um, uh, like steamed vegetables, bell peppers, stuff like that. Yeah. I, that gives me energy and they resonate with my inner. Like, that's what's I feel important. like food is, there's certain foods that resonate with my energy. That sounds weird. No, it doesn't because you know, like, you know, you're just not really drawn to eating certain things. Right. Now you know what things are bad for you, but now you know the things that are good for you. Now you can shoot, you can be drawn to the things that you're really attracted to that are good. But I think inside of me would be able to say that. I don't need that's what anything tells you. external. Like yeah. when you go to, uh, I don't know if people still die this, do this, but if you go to buy like a magazine, right. you know which magazines resonate with you. Oh yeah. The course, same thing yeah. goes when you're at a produce shelf of vegetables. You mm -hmm. know which one resonates with you more right. than the other, you know? Right. Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna be pulling the leeks because I really have no flavor in leeks. Yeah, and I like I like smoothies. Oh, smoothies are great. Yeah, and I've been doing, you know, organic fruit smoothies. And like, I, and I don't know how good it is for you or whatever, but this works for me. Or um, Costco has these big organic bags of like mangoes and three berries. As long as they're frozen, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, they're frozen, yeah. You but that's easy, because I can just jump them in there. Yeah. And then, um, dehydrated then things, like, uh, like things like that, those are dead things, they're not alive. Okay, so like- When you freeze something, you suspend its state, right? right? It's living just at a much slower rate. So like, um, as far as like, uh, like uh, chia seeds and um, all, uh, what's the powder stuff? Flax. Like flax, flax yeah. I throw that all in the Flax, smoothie. maca, yeah, I just throw all, all that kinds stuff. of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah maca, And that's cool. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fantastic. And that gives you, your body a diversity of things to play off of too, right? And then it can use that and it can pull those nutrients to whatever it needs. Your body adapts to so it. So like the maca powder and all that stuff, it needs to make sure that it's organic. Definitely organic, all the time. It's like, yeah, because if you... It's a different frequency of the food, right? Right. And you don't want anything to put in your body that is carcinogenic, acidic, right. any of those things that are throw you out of your alkaline state, even if it's supposed to be beneficial to you. Right. Because it'll be carrying all this other nasty stuff with it. Yeah, and that's something I want to try looking at, is peeing on those little alkaline sticks. Oh yeah, just get them, yeah. yeah. Just see where you're at. Because I know a lot of people are, if you're extremely acidic... We should have our, our own brand of those in the store. Yes. I don't HDL. care if it's next to present pregnancy tests. I don't care. You know? <laughs> right, what's, right. Your, what's, your, what's your alkalinity? Yeah. Are you here to hear? Then you're living high density. <laughs> you're, doing a, you're doing a great job on your diet. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, it's been great. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate the. But you've been kind of like a coach mentoring me through it. So that makes it a lot easier when you have somebody that's accountable. And that's something I feel as we grow higher density living that we'll be able to do that with others. Yeah. Is that we can walk them through that process. Yeah. And we know, can especially all, that week and a half, they need someone that they can text And we can all share whatever. that yeah. accountability. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And that journey, we're all here to walk through it. Even though I've already done it. Right. I'd love to go retrace those steps. Mm hmm. You know? Right. And share with the things that I, you know, probably could have done differently. You know? But so find we'll, out what worked and what didn't. Yeah. And we'll have a hard density living Facebook group and all that stuff. And we'll work with you guys on that. Yeah. We'll um, good. Through the whole process. I think it'll be good. Wicked. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, thanks. All right. Yep. What do we, uh, oh, one more thing. Vegan wasted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, vegan wasted. Speaking of if you're vegan wasted, then you need to subscribe, like. <laughs> subscribe, uh, like, share, our download. YouTube, yeah, and yeah. Uh, Instagram. We're always on Instagram all the time. You've been posting a lot on the Higher Density Living Story. Oh, yeah. So. Um, and beyond that, begin to practice with yourself, which is important. Right, right. You know? That's more than masturbation. That's more than <laughs> masturbation. <laughs> yeah. When I hear practice with yourself, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> all is one. That's what I do, yeah. <laughs> so when I'm touching, we're all touching. We're all, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. just one big <laughs> higher conscious orgy, right? <laughs> all right, oh, see you funny. later. <laughs>